Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Wherever you are, my people, my people, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing good and um, taking care of yourselves as usual. Uh, I cannot complain. I'm back with another album review and glad to be back. Honestly, if you do like this podcast, do head over to uh, buymeacoffee.com forward slash MJ Omoto and, you know, buy me a coffee or two or three. Otherwise, let's get into it. The latest African album review is... Princess Natasha Chansa launched her debut EP this past weekend, which dropped October 1st. And it was exciting news for me because I've always liked to stuff after hearing We Got That Fire in 2020. Uh, man, I was like, who's Natasha Chansa, bro? Yeah, she knows her stuff. But let me tell you about this new EP called The Genesis EP. So first of all, it's an EP, but it has 10 songs. So technically not an EP, but you call your project what you want, really. It's yours. There are four features, and that includes Slap D, CJ, Church Lukuta, and Daryl. The EP runs about 35 minutes and 27 seconds-ish, and was released under Z Arts Records. Let's talk about the music a little bit. I loved how Natasha Chansa opened up with the majestic sounding Bayete, typified by the constant drum. Very African, very African indeed. More so giving a sense of victory. You just feel like, yeah, this is that project for her, where she's like, I've done it, but I'm only getting started with the W. So get ready. She even sampled the Shaka Zulu TV series theme song by Margaret Sangana, which I recognized instantly because I grew up on that. And such a wonderful touch, adding familiarity, especially for somebody like me in their 30s. <laughs> Let me shut up. Um, gotta keep connected to the roots though, so th that was pretty cool. The beat develops while seeing her start dropping bars around the two minute uh, 30 second mark after having wowed us with um, some impressive singing uh, with those African sort of uh, uh, backdrops that you can envision, you know, it was pretty cool. I highlight this song in particular because how an EP or project starts sets the tone for the listener and what Natasha Chancer did here was absolutely brilliant. I'll touch more on the songs as we go. Looking at the flows and lyrics, Natasha Chansa has some of the best flows in the game, and that's Africa wide. On this EP in particular, she actually dabbles on quite a few flows, but at the same time, her cadence, like she can go from just going like no 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 and just going fast and switching up on you, and you're like, what the hell just happened? And she's comfortable doing it like yo, it's nothing. She also covers a wide variety of topics on this EP, which always bodes well for a first project offering uh, like this because it shows that versatility and variety that you can pick and choose what you want. Natasha touches on her ambitions in the industry, uh, dealing with enemies, staying connected with her roots, being non-conformist, uh, love, heartbreak, and lots more. <laughs> The beat selection, mm, the beat selection on the CP. What Natasha Chansa has always done well, outside the obvious, which is rapping and singing quite well, is knowing which beats to grace her talents on. This EP sees a multitude of such beats, which then translates to different genres as well. You get trap, drill, some heavy reggaeton influences in there. I don't know if there's also a little bit of Kopala influence, but you know, um, some Afro dancehall fusion with Afro beats too. So 
you know, it's a wide spectrum. Shout out to the beat makers as well for coming up with a great a la carte selection. And that includes Killer Beats, Church Ulukuta, uh, Mac Knight, Duncan Beats, and more. Overall, as a project, the Genesis EP is a fantastic listen. Uh, from songs such as Disciple, which are straight up vibey bangers and can pack any dance floor, to the unique get up and go type on uh, Jungle, where Natasha Chancer flexes um, flows that any MC would envy, and she takes us back to some of her We Got the Fire lyrics too. Mm. To the smooth show me featuring Zimbabwe's Daryl and the Drew Banger, they know which we all know <laughs> and has been doing well over the last um, few months. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, show me featuring Daryl is actually a song that came out last year. So it's the oldest one on this uh, EP. But tell you what, I love it still. <laughs> what you actually get on the Genesis EP is two versions of Natasha Chanza. And um, tell you what it's 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 brilliant tracks one to four maybe five and six to be fair are the rapper the dangerous flow trap drill a bit up tempo and as you get to tracks seven to ten it's now the afro beats fusion with um that afro dancehall i mentioned earlier and more singing and really going deep on the emotional depth without going too slow of the two, there's no preference between which version of this talented musician I'd rather get. She's equally adept at um, whichever she's feeling on the day, to be honest. Overall, I would say the Genesis EP is a joy to listen to and provides us with great balance on who Natasha Chansa is musically. You can go from tracks 1 right through to 10 without skipping anything and feeling like, okay, this was nice, then giving it a second spin. That's what I did. But anyway. I know Natasha Chansa is destined for greatness. I'll pick They Know, Show Me, uh, Jungle, Disciple, Wild Flames, uh, Nenzelele, and Bayete as my picks from the Genesis EP. What are your picks? Let me know in the comments. And um, you know what? Like this. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Do what you gotta do. I'll catch you guys next time. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Montesano of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Dende. Moto Moto Music. The best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.